Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Inside Out 2. Featuring the voices of Amy Poehler, Maya Hawk, Kensington Tallman, Lisa Le Lapira, Tony Hale, Lewis Black, Phyllis Smith, and A.O. Ada Beery, forgive me if I said that wrong, directed by Kelsey Mann. Now, I remember this was a hard one for me to get a second viewing in, and I did end up eventually getting it, where I can just not be disturbing people, but... But I have seen the movie twice. And, again, the second viewing was hard to get to. But, any, anyway, But back to, um... To why I'm doing the sequel instead of the first one? Well, I did do the first one back in 2020. Before Soul came out. Because, remember, that, that movie was directed by Pete Docter. And I did that back then. And I remember really liking the first one. But will this be any good? Be I was a little nervous about this one because of anxiety. But let's see if he, she is bad in this movie. Let's, fi let's figure this out. Let's get into the movie. 13-year-old autistic girl Riley Anderson, now voiced by Kensington Tallman. And the reason I'm, call and the reason I'm calling her autistic is because that's what Pete Docter said in the first movie, if you can recall that, is about to enter high school as she plays a game of hockey with her emotions inside of her joy returning voice of amy poehler disgust voiced by this time by lisa lepira lepira fear voiced this time by tony hale anger returning voice of lewis black and sadness returning voice of phyllis smith and she plays with her friends grace and brie and at one point she trips someone on the opponent team as we catch up with riley with as a person while she's on penalty at the hockey game and we get introduced to a new thing called the sense of self and she gets back in the game and she wins the championship and gets approached by coach roberts and i like this opener as i'm a hockey fan most people don't know that about me i am a hockey fan as well as the returning characters while joy puts some bad memories to the back of riley's mind while sending the happy memories in the long-term area and Joy takes sadness to a place that is beautiful, as the animation is very good in this movie, as it was pretty to watch, but not as beautiful as the first Inside Out, which I reviewed, like I said, before the release of Soul back in 2020. The emotions get to sleep until they get an alarm which, in which she hits puberty, and Joy gets rid of the, ba of in the, back of the alarm in the back of Riley's mind, and some workers get the headquarters a new machine as Riley wakes up and overreacts while she goes to hockey camp with Grace, Bree, and Bree, excuse me, as she learns they're playing on the opposite team compared to the Firehawks, as they get a, which is what their team is called, as they get assigned to a different high school compared to Riley as they arrive at hockey camp and bumps into Valentina Ortiz, or Val for short, as and the console is orange and the emotions meet anxiety voiced by maya hawk ethan hawk and uma thurman's daughter envy and and let me see if i'm saying this right and why aka boredom and embarrassment and i do like the new characters except for anxiety who is kind of annoying in my opinion and it's not as... She didn't turn out as worse as what the trailers were expecting me to lead to believe. And it leads to a plot in which I thought was going to be frustrating based on the trailer. But it was executed better than I thought. The nine emotions meet Nostalgia, who comes back and forth a couple of times, who was kind of annoying as well. Coach Roberts collects cell phones thanks to Riley, Grace, and Bree, and they make fun of her behind her back, and people blame Riley. And she doesn't fit in, and they hit the ice and overhears the girls talking with Val about Riley behind her back. And she apologizes to Val while Val is taking it easy on the new girl. And Riley joins Val's team after anxiety breaks the silence of self, or sense of self, yeah, that's right, and puts it in the back of her mind as she bottles up the original five emotions to the vault. And she wants to make Riley into a different person as the best hockey player ever and the writing in this is pretty good, but not in, in my opinion, not as good as the original Inside Out. Banished in the vault, we meet Bluffy, Pouchy, and as the animation in them look a little weird, like regular size, well, not regular size, but regular animation, but it didn't work for the world that they're in. 
Dark Secret and Lance Slashblade, who's a video game character, which looked a little awkward as well, while Disgust is in love with Lance, as he can't break of the jar, but Dark Secret can, and they get out, and Lance beats up on the guards, and which felt kind of silly for a movie about emotions, while they do some things a kid's TV show would does in general, and by he, I'm talking about the... What's his name? The Bluefy. That's his name. And in general, and Joy gets the plan to get the sense of self, sense of self in the back of the mind while Anxiety wakes Riley up early to practice on the ice as Val comes in while she's practicing and Sadness gets the idea of going into the tubes back to headquarters. And nobody wants to do it, so they pick Sadness. And she gets in the tube while Riley tries a granola bar. And I'm having, and I'm not having as bad a time as I was predicting when I first saw the trailers. <laughs> Excuse me. Val and the girls get an invite to a party as well as a folder by Coach Roberts about the positive and the negative about Riley. As she goes with Val and the girls and they talk about Riley's favorite band, which is Get Up and Glow. Meanwhile, Sadness gets to headquarters as Riley acts sarcastic with them about Get Up and Glow being her favorite band, and Anxiety was on getting on my nerves. Despite my Hawk does a good job at making her annoying. I mean, it's not her fault, but I wouldn't say Maya Hawk is annoying in general. I, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the character she's voicing is annoying. And I thought the emotion is in general... In the emotion in general, and by talking about, I'm talking about anxiety. While joy, anger, fear, and disgust look for a way to the back of the mind, since the food on, as they find the food on purple water is out of order. While anger, fear, and disgust make joy crazy as she bursts into frustration, and anger cheers her up, and they get on top of the st stock wall as they follow the trail. And I do like the score to this movie as it's emotional, but not as much as the first film. Embarrassment sees Sadness is back and helps her hide, while he knows anxiety is crazy, as joy, anger, and disgust and fear get to Imagination Land as they go in an office where anxiety is in control of Riley's mind, as she's using Riley's imagination against her. While joy, anger, fear, and disgust make Riley happy with, while anxiety is hurting her, and Joy tries to make her make tries to make happy make her happy, whereas anxiety is making her crazy and afraid. While the mind police come after Joy, anger, fear, and disgust, and they luckily do not get captured again. Whew! But they escape, and Sadness reports to Joy on why Riley is awake, and Sadness does get captured by anxiety. Oh, grr! While Riley breaks into the coach's office and looks at her reports and she sees she's not ready to make the team and kids don't do the wrong thing and be honest as this movie's message is so far something kids can learn while the adults will find this very good and don't get me wrong i thought this movie was going to be worse but it's surprisingly better than i thought anxiety gives riley ideas as they get her in a lot of trouble whilst the sense of self is sinking into the other memories and riley dyes her hair briefly red as joy, disgust, anger, and fear get to the back of the mind and they grab the sense of self while on a mountain full of memories, bad memories I'll say at best, and quick, and quickly as possible while anxiety gets Riley to think like she's not good enough and anxiety breaks the tube and joy is worried for Riley and is rewinding is rewinding the time when she tripped over the opponent team in the beginning of the movie and joy doesn't know what to do but to, doesn't know what to do to save riley from anxiety and the big hockey game begins that they talk about at some at this point and anxiety controls riley from playing as a team which is making me scared for riley as be has become anger calls her calls for Pouchy, and Joy thinks of getting more dynamite and from inside Pouchy's mouth and make a wave of memories come to headquarters as they arrive from where Joy showed sadness in the beginning of the movie while the hockey game goes on and Riley accidentally knocked down Grace and goes in the penalty box as she 
Anxiety didn't see her, and Anxiety pushes her too hard. As joy, anger, fear, and disgust arrive to the headquarters, while Anxiety controls Riley too hard, and Joy tells her that she can't change who Riley is, and puts back the sense of self to a machine controlling Riley into being a good person. And Joy takes the sense of self off the machine, and makes a new Riley as she could be anything and all the emotions warm Riley up by giving it a hug, which is sweet and the, this message is well written. Grace and Bree come up to Riley and confesses how she became a changed person and says she's sorry if, and if they can forgive her, in which they do and finish the game as Riley wants Joy to control her headquarters and to make her play the game she absolutely loves as this movie has heart like some of the other Pixar films. And we move on to the first day of high school and she'll get an email later in the day as they, as all, and become friends. All the emotions get together and become friends and she gets the email and it ends up on a cliffhanger. Well, I didn't like that cliffhanger of an ending so much as credits roll to mid credits with Riley and saying hockey camp was good and and Noa and the emotions on mom and dad is that and thinks is that the best she can do we get to the after credits scene where joy brings the and yes there is an after credit scene where joy brings out the vault dark secret as he sees as he says he he has a secret which he brought up earlier in the film and he burned a hole on the carpet and runs back in the vault. And then Joy brings up that time that they peed in the pool, which a little weird, but okay. And the climax was heartbreaking, but at the end, it was very heartwarming that Riley has everything she wanted from her friends and hockey camp, to hockey camp. And it has a heart and a very good message. Now it's time for my reading. I'll give this movie a 8.0 out of 10. Very good, but not as good as the original Inside Out, in my opinion. As I like the returning as well as the new characters, except for Anxiety, as I found her annoying, but Maya Hawk does a, does a good job at voicing, at voicing the antagonist, and the animation is very good in this movie, as it's pretty to watch from start to finish. It has a heartbreaking, but at the same time, heartwarming message, as it, I like that it was all about Riley as a good person, while she was becoming aggressive, and hanging out with some high school girls, and it's very well written, and I give credit, credit to the writers of this movie for making this a nice story. After seeing the trailers, I thought the movie was going to be a lot worse, but it turned out better than I thought it was, and it is emotional. And yes, I was really surprised, but more emotional than the first film? Honestly, not in my opinion. But at the end of the day, I was surprised. So yeah, this is a solid recommendation for kids and adults, and this is and this is for both adults and kids. So yeah, I really was surprised by how this movie turned out by the end of the day. So I'd like to thank you guys for returning with me to Inside Out. And until they get a part three, because this movie made a lot of money, until we get there, I'm a good person. And same with all of you out there if you want to be.